back to Simrai Fashion Academy YouTube channel for another interesting tutorial. So today's tutorial will be focusing on how to make a shift gown with facing as you can see right there on the thumbnail. So we are going to make our border lines, okay, right now as we create a shift gown. So if you look at um, the measurements I'm going to make use of, I'm just making use of them. Um, a small scale then measurement for this shift gown. So for the measurement of the shift gown, this is the shoulder line. And from the shoulder, I'm going to place all necessary measurements. So the first measurement I'll be needing here is going to be my chest line measurement, my waist measurement, and the height, uh, length of the shift gown. So this is my chest line and this is my waist measurement and this is the full length. So I'm drafting on the front pattern, okay? This is chest, waist and full length. So full length is by choice, okay? So your chest can you can get your chest measurement by dividing your bust by 6, add 1.5 to it. So right here, I'm going to take the measurement of my shoulder and the measurement of my neckline. So the neckline I have is bust divided by 12. So whatever thing you have as your bust divided by 12, you will be using it to create your natural neckline before the real neckline. So I'll come down by one inch. I'll be slanting my shoulder by one inch, okay? And I'm going to mark what I have on my shoulder line. I will mark it on the chest line to create my armhole. So I'll just mark a straight line at that point. So, I'll be dividing to create my armhole. I'll divide what I have here by 2 and I'll go in by 0 0.75. For the front pattern, I'll come in this way. And to complete this process, I'll place my tape right here and measure my, uh, my bust. Okay? So, if I measure my bust, I'll measure my waist. And then my hip, okay? Sorry about that. We need our hip before the full length. So I'll place my tape again and I'm, I'll be measuring my hip line. So this is the hip line, okay? For the completion of this, we have the hip. So on the hip, I'm going to measure my hip divide by 4. So if you are new to this channel, please kindly subscribe, turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this every day. Like this video, share to family and friends, drop your comments on the comment section and your suggestions as well. So you can see what I did here, that is the connection to the hip. So whatever I have on the hip line from the center front, this is my center front. I'm going to take the measurement of what I have there and I'll transfer it back to my hem. Okay, and I'll position my pattern ruler. I can either use a straight ruler to do this. So whichever way. So this is the height. Okay, let me just increase this. Let me increase the full length. I'm using the full paper for my full length. So this is no longer the full length. The full length is at this point. So remember the armhole line. We are supposed to finish it up by placing our ruler to match up from here and anywhere right here. So we are done. So before we go ahead to the creation of this um, neckline, we want to first of all make this dress a shift gown. Because the way it is right now is a fitted gown. So if I need to, if I'm going to sew this exactly what I have here, I'll be having my body shape right here. So to make it a shift gown, I'll be adding on the bust area one inch. But note that this one inch will also increase, affect your basic sleeve. If you're attaching a sleeve to it, it means you'll be extending your sleeve by one inch. So it accommodates this. 
and coming over to the waist it depends on how shift you want it to be i love to work with 1.5 on the waist and 1.5 on the hip okay so times six times uh, four will give me six and six is just very good shift you know a very good as a shift gown so i'll turn over and i'm going to add the same 1.5 on the hand so it depends whether you are making it an a line or you are making it a straight shift down but from what we have on the thumbnail we have a straight shift gown so i'll be following what i have right here so this is your shift gown okay so that is what makes it the shift all right so we go ahead to the construction of the neckline the neckline I don't want it to be choky. So since I don't want it to choke, I'll come out by 0 0.75. I'll just go around by 0 0.75. 0 0.75. And then I'm going to connect 